I'm recording. Look at these flowers. They're nice, right? Well, well, well. Look who's back on the motorcycle riding with full safety gear. I think this is a conversation we need to have in the motorcycle community. Y'all need to wear your gear. We need to wear gear. We need to be a little bit safer than what we do already. Yeah. All I'm going to say is that I've been seeing a lot of deaths lately in the motorcycle community and uh, I think like we really we really need to bring up the whole importance of like riding within your ability wearing gear I know I don't always wear my gear but like I have no excuse for it so that's why I'm out today short little ride but I got all the gear on boys and girls I got all the gear on. I gotta go put some gasolina because we're almost on empty. But I'm riding with the gear that I need to have on. Gloves, helmet. May I add, the states that don't wear, I just got back from Mexico and it amazes me how they don't wear helmets. Well, a lot of dirt here. Be very careful. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I gotta get some gas. And then we're gonna continue on on an adventure. Do I do we need a car wash today? Nope. Wash my bike earlier today. Well, I cleaned it. <laughs> I just want to add some gas. No matter the day, it's always five freaking dollars. Nineteen cents here in California. To Seventeen dollars. Trying out some new video settings today. Yeah, like I said, I want to have a conversation about some of the safety situations that I've been noticing. It's very eye-opening. There was like a funeral procession for like five days for some kid in Mexico who died because he hit a pole. So it's pretty sad, you know, like it's sad when you see you hear these stories about motorcyclists. And I'm over here advocating for it. I'd be like, yeah, motorcycles for the win. Yeah, they're the best. They are the best, but they're to, they're, to some degree, you got to be careful. I know sometimes it sucks getting hot and all sweaty and stuff, but it's, it's for your safety, you know, it's for your safety. You gotta be safe. We're already in a bad position to begin with as a motorcycle rider. You gotta play it safe. I also had a old classmate of mine that, you know, we still follow each other on the socials and like every Friday from his job he would post like, oh, the, the, the boss bought him carne asada. Like, that's how I knew it was Friday because it was carne asada Fridays and he'd always post it, you know. And then I come to find out he passed away this like beginning of the month from the motorcycle accident and I'm just thinking to myself like dude those clubs they're they're they're, they're, they're no good man they, they they always put you in compromising situations like I know that they, they probably they posted earlier in that day that they were visiting a fellow rider who had passed away at a graveyard I mean at a cemetery is and then and then that happened and like, I don't know the situation that happened from A to B but it's just sad to know that like you know things like that happen and like the, 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 a lot of those group riders don't ride safely they do drinks they go drinking and riding and it's like well you're already in a dangerous position with the motorcycle why would you want to make it worse exactly That, that was a pretty dumb move. I know I'm not the one to be promoting safety. I know it's, it's the summer season coming up. It's when you see the most amount of accidents. All I'm gonna say is if you're starting your motorcycle adventure, your motorcycle lifestyle, just ride within your limits. Don't overthink it. Always look where you're going. And then don't think you're better, you're, you know more than you realistically know. Because the bike will make you learn your lesson the hard way. There's no like soft lessons, it's, it's either bam or bam. So just be careful out there for this riding season. New riders and experienced riders and riders and all between all groups and ages. Just be careful man. Make it home. That's all I'm saying, just make it home. Watch out for cars like this. 